What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and this video is for all iPhone 4 users who wish to unlock and run an unsupported carrier on their iPhone 4s. In this case, I'm using T-Mobile, and the baseband supported by this unlock are 1.59.00, 2.10.04, 3.10.01, and 4.10.01. The firmware supported are 4.3.3 down through 4.0. So basically, every firmware, every baseband ever made for the iPhone 4 can be unlocked using this unlock tool, possibly even future firmwares. Now, the only negative thing is that you have to buy the Jevy Pro SIM tool. It does cost about $35, but let me tell you, it works for sure, and it works great. It's very stable. It's definitely worth it. A jailbreak is not required to unlock your iPhone using the Jevy Pro SIM. I am using the official Jevy Pro SIM tool. Now, you guys can get them on eBay for about half the price. Of course, they're not the real thing, but some of them do work good. Take this one, for example. I paid $13, tested it out, and it's just like the real thing. Now, you guys just never know if you're going to get a good or a bad fake. If you guys get a bad one, your iPhone could overheat and some of the components inside could get damaged permanently. So I would just go ahead and buy the real thing for $35. I'll have links down below to their official Apple and Berry website where you can get one of these. If you guys aren't familiar with a Jevy unlock tool, it is a hardware unlock, meaning you won't need a computer or any software to do this. All you'll need is your iPhone 4, your SIM card trimmed down to a micro SIM, and I'll get to that in just a second, and the contents of this little packet, which is the micro SIM card adapter, and of course a little chip you place under your micro SIM card. So here's a question I've been getting asked a lot. Is it legal to use a Jevy SIM in your iPhone? And the short answer is yes. Basically one of the steps required while unlocking your iPhone is to dial 112 and quickly hang up. And it is illegal to connect and hang up. But the thing is we're dialing and within two seconds we're already pressing end and it is not illegal because we are not connecting to anyone the call is never even going through even on their official website they tell us that it is not illegal to dial 112 you're not supposed to connect the call or wait long enough to let it ring so there you go okay so with all that out of the way we can get started first of all I'm gonna clip my T-Mobile SIM card and as I showed you guys in a previous video it is actually very simple to do and if you want to see that video it'll be right here so go ahead and click on that but okay so make sure it's aligned and okay so there it is and just gonna pop the casing out so that was a nice clean cut you want to make sure the edges are smooth so file it a bit now that I've actually got my micro sim cut I need to cut the corner so it will fit nice and snug around that microchip and I'm gonna do that Okay, and just right here. Okay. Okay, so now it should fit nice and snug inside of here. There we go. Now, according to the instructions, we now have to turn off our iPhone 4. So go ahead and do that. And in the meantime, we're going to pop out our SIM card tray and insert the Jevy SIM with our SIM card and go ahead and power on your iPhone. Okay, so as soon as your iPhone boots, we're going to slide to unlock and we should get a SIM welcome menu in just a second. Okay, and we're going to click accept and we're going to wait till the one bar appears. Okay, and we're going to go into the phone app dial 112 press call and we're gonna count two seconds one two there has been no ring you have not connected to anything you just dialed 112 okay so we're gonna go into settings turn on airplane mode and we're gonna keep it on until we get a little pop-up telling us that we have no sim card installed okay and we're gonna click OK and turn off airplane mode click OK again OK to the sim failure it might take about a minute, but we should have our service back momentarily. 
Okay, and there we go. We now have the T-Mobile logo. In a way, this is a tethered unlock since you have to redo all of the steps every time you reboot your iPhone, but they do provide you with this little pamphlet of information. You can just pop in your wallet and you'll be set. If you guys are in an area without any service, you don't have to worry about rebooting your iPhone and going through all the steps again. Your iPhone will automatically find the service without having to do any of that. Also, if you guys are having the no SIM error, you want to turn on airplane mode for about a minute, then turn it off, reboot, and go through all the steps again. But okay guys, that's how you unlock your iPhone for any firmware, any baseband, using the Jevy SIM Pro. Definitely give it a try. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day. Enjoy your unlocked iPhone.